Ever since the game's release in 2013, secret ways have been a hot topic in the world of Geometry Dash. Secret ways, or methods of beating a level that allows the player to skip part of the gameplay, are highly valued by many players as sources of free stars. On the other side of the coin, however, many players, and even Rob Top himself, consider the use of secret ways illegitimate, and an unfair way of beating levels. Regardless of one's opinion on these alternate paths, it's hard to deny the large presence secret ways have held since the early days of the game. This video will look not at the individual secret ways themselves, but instead at the evolution of the concept as a whole. Before we begin, there is an important distinction that needs to be made in regards to secret ways. Secret ways can be divided into two types. Intentional secret ways, or those that were deliberately put in by the creator in order to skip part of the level, and unintentional secret ways, or those that only exist due to the error of the creator. All secret ways fall into either of these categories, and both play an important role in the evolution of the secret way as a whole. As previously mentioned, nearly as early as the game existed, Geometry Dash creators found ways to exploit it in ways that would make the game easier. One such method was the secret way. Before the existence of clients like MegaHack, which allow for things such as noclip and verification bypass, one of the only ways people could upload their extremely difficult levels was by adding a secret way. Such instances, which may have consisted of a well-hidden portal or a blue orb, fall into the intentional category of secret ways. Many levels of extreme difficulty at the time, including Heaven and Hell and Ice Carbon Zust, utilize this intentional kind of secret way to be published. It is important to note, however, that despite the prominence of this kind of secret way at the time, there were also plenty of unintentional secret ways in the game's infancy, and even some that could go either way. Simply put, although they were not the only secret ways of the era, intentional ones were arguably the most impactful secret ways of the time due to the levels that contained them. Levels of extreme difficulty that had these secret ways, such as the aforementioned Heaven and Hell, still hold a formidable challenge even to top players today, and were of unthinkable difficulty at the time. Their difficulty gave them a legacy of infamy that certainly left its mark on the community, making these secret ways quite impactful. In fact, without the use of these intentional secret ways, it's reasonable to assume that these levels may not have ever seen the servers, once again highlighting their importance. In short, while both kind of secret ways existed in the early days of Geometry Dash, the intentional ones held a lot more impact in regards to the levels that they were a part of. The implementation of the intentional secret way allowed for the release of levels that would be revolutionary in regards to difficulty, and were thus the most impactful type of secret way in the early days of the game. In the recent days of the game, a couple of notable changes have occurred in regards to secret ways. The first is a shift in the type of secret ways. While intentional ones were extremely impactful at one point, they have fallen out of favor and are now quite rare. There could be a few reasons for this change. Perhaps the drastic increase of players has made intentional secret ways easier to spot and unrate quickly, or perhaps Rob himself has simply gotten more strict in regards to unrating levels that use this exploit. Even more fatal for the intentional secret way may be the fact that hacks have practically made them obsolete, as what could be done by a hidden portal could be done even easier with a verification hack. Regardless of the reason, it's pretty reasonable to say that the intentional secret way, as we once knew it, is dead, at least in regards to rated levels. Now more prominent is the unintentional secret way, or the secret way that is brought about by the creator's error, not a deliberate intention. Whether it's a gap in the decorative elements of a level, or a simple oversight in creating, the majority of secret ways today occur due to errors in creation. Even the smallest misplacement of a portal or saw may lead to an unintentional secret way, which allows the player to skip much of the level. Another important feature of many of these secret ways is their lack of permanence. Generally, as the name suggests, these secret ways are mistakes made by honest creators. As a result, naturally, these secret ways are quite often fixed by their creators, who may want to avoid their level getting unrated, or just to make sure people see the level in all its beauty. 
As a result, such unintentional secret ways staying around for a while is a quite uncommon occurrence, making secret ways even more few and far in between. This brings us to the second and final notable change the secret way has faced in the recent days of the game the decrease in frequency of secret ways as a whole. Between the obsolescence of intentional secret ways and the tendency for dedicated creators to correct those that are unintentional, the secret way is dwindling in comparison to what it once was. Not to say that the secret way will disappear. There are still many rated levels with secret ways, levels that will remain rated. However, for better or for worse, the creation of levels with secret ways is a trend that is reaching its end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, if you have any thoughts on the topic, I encourage you to put them in the comments down below.